So the other day I was hanging out with Chris Head. We were looking at these new Pacer and Catalyst bikes from Smart Motion, and I was told that, you know, this is a company that started in New Zealand, they've been in Europe, and I ran into Daryl here, who's, you're like the founder of that company, or give me the story, man. Yeah, so um, actually it's Anthony over here and myself, um, we kind of kicked this company off a few years ago. Okay, just a few years, man. Yeah, yeah it's, not, it's not that old. Um, Anthony got involved with uh, electrifying the New Zealand Post bicycle fleet for postal service deliveries. Uh, for like delivering mail and stuff? Yeah, that's, the one. that's a good idea. So he, he developed up the system for them and after that was finished he sort of said, well I've got this awesome sort of robust system now and he thought, let's build a bike brand around like, it. Who else would want this, right? Yeah, <laughs> Sweet. So, so he did that and um, I sort of I met up with him pretty soon after he kicked that um, bike company off and having an industrial design background. Okay, cool. And uh, being into bikes for my whole life, I sort of said, well, you got some nice bikes, but we can do a bit better than that. Well, it, so tell me on this, like what parts you've been involved with? Because there are some really cool touch points. There's a lot of unique qualities with this. Yep, well this bike, I mean, apart from the stock components like wheels and hubs and rims and bars, we've pretty much entirely designed the whole bike. Yeah. So the frame, everything's from scratch, carrier, it's designed to be a, um, a quick commute bike. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's got uh, really good um, top speed. Yeah, 28 um, mile per hour, yeah. at least in the US. Is that yeah. an, an international thing? Yeah, or? It's, um, it's a little less in, in New Zealand. It's in the US, you've got a really uh, a higher uh, watt. Nice. Regulation. You know, I don't know all the specific details on that, but I heard that the first George W. Bush, the one that people like, like a little bit more than yeah. the other guy that he put up he implemented the 750 watt like 20 you know the, the higher regulations because a lot of the rest of the world europe and sounds like maybe new zealand are a little more yeah, timid on that the, yeah it's, it's a difficult thing because in new zealand we have a lot of big hills uh -huh. and um, you know if people want to haul their children up the hills yeah you need a bit of power so we're going through that at the moment in new zealand what's the regulation going to be there's lots of um, um question is going out to everyone at the really moment. yeah they're like kind of voting on it sort of yeah, like it's going to be a bit of a bit of a vote or a bit of a committee review nice yeah well i wish you luck i've heard that you guys have been getting good support from maybe local government and I, the integration with the postal service is certainly a cool relationship yep no in new zealand it's um the smart motions well and truly the biggest brand in new zealand sweet man. and um yeah it's it's, it's been a, a good ride now of course Lots and lots of new players coming into the, yeah. the game, so yeah. we're really having to keep on our toes and we're introducing a whole lot of new bikes in the next sort of year. Honestly, even here though, in the United States, which is sort of this emerging market, it seems like yeah. Europe's done a good job, like Germany, and even in the UK, they've got more options than we've had historically. Uh, but Denmark and you know all these places, now the United States is starting to see e-bikes catching on, but then you guys came in and it brought a lot of stuff I hadn't seen. You know, I, I was like, oh, it looks like a stealth bomber or something, and then the screen, and even just the placement of the additional USB and some of the extra little things. Yeah, well, we, we knew that if we wanted to enter the USA, we needed to have a hero bike that, you know, that was would, really would cool. stand out. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, you know, from a design background, you know, it's, it's all about desirability, and, and so we've really look to incorporate as much of the new technologies as we can and yeah. done our own color LCD and integrated it automotive style into the bike yeah but you know plugs and things where you need them um, we've, we've gone for the full like automotive style lighting as well that's the, that's really the standout for me I mean I like having lights in general kind of for safety but then if they aren't running off the main battery, you're like, gosh, I'm already carrying all this weight and now I gotta worry about shutting them off and I'm you know, running out. And then you guys were like, let's take it one step further and you got the, like kind of the under light. That is, that's really just cool. Yeah, well that's, that's all part of the um, commuting experience, being safe and being able to be seen. So we wanted this bike to really stand out when you're on the road so that you don't get taken out by yeah. car. cars and stuff. Can you show me some of the other stuff? Cause I know Smart Motion has the, Catalyst here, which is a bit more like a hardtail trail bike, maybe. Yep. So that sort of opens up the bike scope a bit more for all terrain. Mm -hmm. um, so it's based on the same frame as the AC uses, but of course we've got front shocks there. Yeah. And um, the, the aggressive tires. The same hydraulic disc brakes. Same yep. higher speed too, which is yep, kind of yep, cool. Yep. And um, up to 17 amp hour, 48 volt battery. So huge, huge batteries. 
um, at the moment. That's the USA only at the moment too, because okay. you guys have the fire regulation. Right, right. Well, and if you're going faster, it does kind of burn through the battery a little bit faster yeah. too. So you get that. And off road, you know, it's just it's not as efficient. You're you're on dirt potentially. Yeah, you're on sucking, trail. Sucking the energy out. Sucking it out. Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. Yeah. And we also do a, a range of. Um, standard style oh, yeah. bikes. So this is our E-City and it's probably our biggest seller um, even for both men and women uh, sort of over 50 year old 60 year old people buy this they usually buy it in pairs we've got a couple of colors so they'll come in and buy a red one and a blue one oh yeah off they go go out there. together <laughs> yeah. in New Zealand uh, um, they call it um, rail trail riding which is a lot of the old railway lines have been converted into um, bicycle trails now. Oh, cool. So, That's smart. Yeah, so lots of people come to New Zealand now and go ride through our national parks on the old rail lines. Wow, making me want to go visit, man. And I like that it, it's not just like, yeah, okay, it's step through, it's a basic bike. You've got the adjustable stem for comfort and the suspension, even a suspension seat post. It's kind of yeah. a nice little touch. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's amazing how many people will purchase a bike based on the seat. Yeah. yeah. I, my girlfriend will like sit on the seat. She'll be like, I like that one. Like, you know, yeah, it's that comes into interface with your body. You want it to feel good. Yeah, we're introducing the rear lights onto the carriers of these two. So um, you'll be able to actually spec the red LED strips on these bikes. Oh, nice. Very cool. But you're really, really easy bikes to ride. And, you know, a lot of people just get on them and transforms their lives. Well, thank you so much for flying all the way to the United States so we could yeah, meet up yeah, and, yeah, no, and see you. some of these products. And I really think that the kind of the partnership with Electric Cycles guys, I've oh, seen them do other too. stuff. Yeah, right? These, yeah, you know, yeah. Chris is a talker, but real really nice guy. Well. Yeah. Do, yeah, there's this other guy. You're saying he's yeah, um, the gentleman who yeah. kind of started the company yeah. as well? Yeah, Anthony Clyde. He's, he's the uh, mastermind behind Smart Motion. And he's got like the sprocket over there. Hey, buddy. We're just doing a little bit of uh, a walk around, checking out the bikes and stuff. Wanted to say hey, thank you yeah, for hey, yeah. bringing these well, bikes to yeah, market here. Yeah, we're pretty here. excited with the response we've had in the US. Um, Germany also, Eurobike, and uh, right into it. And yeah, we really enjoyed your review the other day. Oh, so. thanks. Yeah, yeah, it was nice to get to hop right on these things first thing and go off road a little bit. I, actually, I'm still working on this one, but. Yeah. Um, that's a neat concept. A lot of really cool features. I like the lights. We were just talking about that, and he's mentioning that we might see that on the step through eventually too. Yeah, so, yeah. I know you guys are in the middle of like a business deal here, so yep. maybe I'll end it at that. Is there a website you want to send people to if they're international? Smartmotionbikes.com. Smartmotionbikes.com. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And in the U.S., is that, that's the U.S. have their own site, but if you go to smartmotionbikes.com, you'll, you'll be able to be directed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Again, thank you so much, and keep up the great work, guys. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.